This is Into Math 3rd Grade, Lesson 17.1, Estimate and Measure Liquid Volume. I can use metric units to estimate and measure liquid volume. Please gather your workbook and a pencil and turn to page 440. We will start under Build Understanding and you can pause at any time as needed. This metric measuring cup is filled with one liter of water. This mug holds less than one liter. A bottle of juice holds about one liter. And a paint can holds more than one liter. So we know that this right here is one liter. And we know what is less than one liter, what is about one liter, and what is more than one liter. We have three examples here. Let's take a look at the connective vocabulary. Liquid volume is the amount of liquid in a container. The liter, or it's written as a capital L, is the basic metric unit for measuring liquid volume. Let's take this information and put it into practice. We'll start with question one. Tam pours one liter of water into a container that holds exactly one liter. Which of the containers can hold exactly one liter of water? First, we need to estimate, which means make our best guess. Does each container hold more than one liter? about one liter or less than one liter of liquid. And we have these great examples up here to use um, to help guide us, right, as we're learning through. Okay, so let's take a look at each container. Here we have a drink bottle. Now we're going to estimate first. We're going to make our best guess. And when I take a look at that drink bottle, and I look at the mug, I look at the juice bottle, and then I look at the paint can, I'm thinking it's between the bottle of juice and the paint can, but the bottle of juice definitely looks smaller. So I'm going to estimate that it is more than one liter because it looks like it's more than just that one bottle of juice. Now I'm gonna take a look at the juice box and I'm noticing it's pretty small. So I'm going to say it looks kind of like that mug, so I would estimate that it's less than one liter. Maybe you would like to pause and try the milk jug and the sports bottle on your own and come back. Otherwise, you can just follow along with me. So the next one is the milk jug. And when I take a look at the size of the milk jug, to me, that's definitely looking bigger than the mug and smaller than the paint can. So I'm gonna go with about a liter because that looks like the bottle of juice that holds about one liter. Then I look at the green sports bottle right next to it, and I'm gonna think it's about the same size as that bottle of juice. It's definitely bigger than the mug. So I'm gonna go ahead and estimate again that I think it's about one liter. Okay, the next direction asks us to pour and measure using the one liter measuring cup and record the number of liters. So this is something that you can do at home. If you have this um, measuring cup right here, it looks like this, that's a one liter of water. You can use that measuring cup and you can get a drink bottle, a juice box, a milk jug, and a sports bottle um, to kind of try this on your own and then come back, or you can um, just follow along here with me. So for the drink bottle, you'll see that it took two bottles of juice or two liters to fill up the drink bottle. So I can record under measure liquid volume that it was two liters. Then I take a look at the juice box and I was only able to pour about the same amount that a coffee mug would hold, not the whole juice box. So I'm going to record here that it was less than one liter. 
Then I go on to the milk jug. Now this milk jug doesn't look like the one in my refrigerator. The one in my refrigerator is much bigger, but this milk jug is definitely smaller. So when I pour the liter, it is um, about one liter. And so that's the same amount as the juice um, that holds one liter. So I will write in one liter. And then when I look at the sports bottle, I was able to pour almost the whole liter. So I'm going to write in about one liter. The final question asks, with one liter of water, which of the containers does Tam likely fill to the top? And using our chart, we see that right here was the one that was one liter. So we can answer milk jug. Let's take a look at the next page, page 441 under question two. Riza and Joy have same size containers filled with different amounts of water as shown. Riza's container is marked in liters. About how much water in liters does Joy's container have? So we're gonna go through each part. Part A says, find a unit name on Riza's container. This is the unit of liquid volume that is being used. And we notice here that there's a little L on the container. And we know that the unit shown is L and L stands for liter. All right, let's take a look at the next part. Find the measurement marks on Riza's container. So we notice here that there's one, two, three, four, five. There's measurement marks and there's different lines connected to those numbers. How much does each line stand for and what numbers label the lines? Well, we see that each measurement mark is labeled with a number, like we said, one, two, three, or five. So each mark stands for one liter, and this is the scale. Now we need to look at part C. Find the amount of water in Riza's container. So when we use the scale or measurement, we notice that the water line goes to the scale of three. So we can um, answer the information here that says, the water in Riza's container is at the mark for three. So Riza's container has about three liters of water. Now let's take a look at the next um, part, part D. How do the two containers compare in size? Well, when we look at the containers, we know that the containers are actually the same size. They are the same in size. So now we'll look at part E. We need to estimate the amount of water in Joy's container by using the marks on Riza's container. When I estimate or make my best guess, I kind of look over at Joy's uh, water level and I kind of just gaze over at Riza's and I see that, wow, that water level, it's pretty close to the top of Riza's, which would make um, and match the water level of five liters. So I'm gonna write in here, the water level in Joy's container matches a level of about five liters in Riza's container. So now I can answer part F, which asks about how much water is in Joy's container. And we can answer that Joy's container has about five liters of water. If you would like to go back and re-watch this video, you may do so, and you can pause along the way anytime as needed.